Welcome to Podnuts Daily for September 22nd, 2008, episode number 82. Today was a terrible day. I had ordered a battery on eBay for an HP laptop, DB6000. And as I was uh, waiting for the, the part to – well, for, actually, first when I ordered it, for some reason, my home address got, got entered into the uh, payment shipping address, not my work address. Well, since I'm at work from like 10 to 5, the UPS guy will not – and I won't be home to deliver, receive a package if the UPS guy comes here. Well, anyway, so as soon as I ordered it and I saw that, I go, all right, I got I to gotta send him a message. I sent him a message and said, look, I – I accidentally put my, my home address in there. Can you change it to my work address? And the person responded, yes, I'm submitting that into the computer right now, so it should be sent to your work. Well, it didn't. It got sent to my apartment. So I come home. I find a little UPS sticker on the door saying, we were here and you weren't. We're going to try tomorrow. Well, I, I sent an e- another email back to the, the eBay store. I said, look, why did you send it to my ho- house? You said you were going to send it to my apartment. They go, well, we, I tried, but we don't really have control over that. So um, UPS guy came a second time, and then I got an email from this eBay seller saying, you know, the e- UPS guy is going to come back a third time, and if you're not there, he's going to send the item back to us at your expense. So I sent him a very nice message, and nice is in quotes, and I had to come home early today to wait for the stupid UPS man. Not that he's stupid. It's not his fault. Uh, from 2 to 5 is the time he was supposed to be here. So I came at 2. He came at quarter to 5. So wasn't at the shop a lot today. Don't have too much to talk about at the shop. We did this weekend. We did pick up a couple of KVM switches. Which, if you guys are um, really want to increase your productivity, buy a couple of KVM switches. Uh, we bought two because we have two different tables, so now we can do twice the work on desktops as we were doing. M- are much easier anyway. Instead of plug in, plugging things in and out, and um, very very smart um, purchase. Thirty dollars at Micro Center for a KVM switch. Comes with the cables too. Okay, I had a Dell, I think it was a B130 laptop. I don't know if you guys have ever gotten this error. It's lsass.exe error. Comes on right when you right after the Windows boot screen and uh, basically reboots after after you get that error. Sometimes I've had it so where it doesn't reboot, but you cannot get past that point. I think it's a major registry error regarding password protection, something along those lines. We researched it just a little bit. Um, this computer... Before we actually went crazy with it, um, it looked like we would just have to do a lot of repairs on the registry, so we just ended up doing a reinstall. If anybody does have a nice fix for the LSASS error, let me know. And we got a uh, another laptop, Dell laptop, oh, I think the same exact model, B130, kept blue screening no matter what we did, except it didn't blue screen in safe mode. And it blue screened with no specific error on the blue screen. Those are the worst because you can't tell really what's going on. Um, it did have a stop error, you know, where it's a stop and it like a whole string of numbers, but they weren't doing, they weren't panning out in the, the Google search, so we didn't really know what it was. Spent hours on that, and then said we're going to do a re- reinstall on that. So we're doing, we had a reinstall day today at the shop. So I don't know if that guy that helps you guys or not. I mean, um, let's see what else we got here. Okay, two power Apple Power Books. Getting some apples in now. We're getting some apples in. One has a bad logic board. The other one has a fan problem. The fan is, is spinning too loud. I will be taking these apart and filming it for the laptop videos that are soon to be released. So we're going to have some Apple stuff as well as PC stuff in this videos. So it's going to have everything. Ah, oh, gosh, I don't have too much to talk about today. Uh, one couple other things, just announcements mainly. Uh, the next episode of Podnuts is coming out tonight. It was recorded with Mike Petro um, a day or so ago. It's about um, just general problems, general computer problems that uh, things we're both running into in the field or or in the shop, and we just go over a bunch of stuff. That's going to be released tonight. I said it was going to be released last night, but I lied. Sometimes I lie. <laughs> Not on purpose, but I lied. It's definitely going to be out tonight. And... Uh, this is exciting. Next episode of Pod Nuts the Weekly Show is going to come out sometime, ne- sometime next week. I'm interviewing Nick Scrapitos. I think that's how you pronounce his name. He's the author of Super Anti Spyware, and he seems like he's very passionate about stopping viruses and and having um, healthy, work well working computers. He is going to be on the next episode of Pod Nuts. That's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait to interview him. Um, you know, somebody who devotes that much of their life into stopping spyware. I would, I love having that kind of person on the show. Here's an interesting thing, business on the business side. 
Um, we we decided to. I got to tell my dad this. I decided to. We kind of talked about it a little bit. People, we've been getting customers calling in, and because we're getting backed up, business is really picking up. We can't get to certain computers till after a couple days. Like um, it's Monday today. When people come in and drop their stuff off, I say I probably won't have it till Thursday. Well, some people need their computer fixed immediately. So we're going to be offering a rush service, is what I'm going to call it. Um, I normally charge seventy nine for repair. The rush service is going to be one nineteen. It'll be basically if you bring your computer to us, we'll start working on it immediately, and see if that helps with um, the income a little bit. This way, we're not losing customers, and we could um, we could charge more for having you know pre- preferential treatment on the service. Oh, here's another interesting thing. My I had a fifty two inch Mitsubishi. Uh, DLP projection TV, and it broke a few weeks ago, and that's why I've been talking about getting another TV. Um, looking at plasmas, looking at flat uh, LCDs, and um, I, I don't have, um, I didn't have really anything in, anything set that I wanted to get. All I know is after I bought the Vizio from Walmart, I took it back, and I know that I, if you really want quality, you're gonna have to put out money for a quality TV, like a Sony or a Sharp or uh, Samsung's making nice stuff, LG, uh, Pioneer. Anyway, so. I don't have the money to buy that right now. What, so what I did was, I, I, and I didn't want to do this, I took apart my Mitsubishi TV to see if I could figure out what the problem was. Now, I take apart a lot of motherboards at the shop, and I open up laptops, and I just didn't feel like opening my TV. I searched online extensively, and there was for the problem I was having, there's all different kinds of, of fixes. But something that kept coming up was that there could be some capacitors that were bad on the power board of the TV. Well, I took the TV apart. And it was such a pain in the neck. But I finally got to the power circuit board in the TV. And after I dug in there, finally got to the thing. I looked at it, showed a flashlight on it. Two of the capacitors were blown on it. I replaced those two capacitors. Two capacitors, like this big, tiny little things blown. The TV works now. So I, instead of going out and spending like $1,000 on a new TV, I spent like 80 cents and got a couple capacitors. <laughs> And now the TV's fixed. So I hope that lasts for a while. I don't know how long it's going to last, but it's working now. So the, the moral of the story is if you guys can fix PCs, you can fix TVs. It's the same thing. You know, you got a couple circuit boards and a screen. You know, that's what a computer is or a laptop is anyway. Um, here's an f- announcement for the future, what I'm going to be doing. As soon as I uh, get a good um, a grasp of some of the web design tools I want to use, I'm going to be making podnuts.com a little bit different, but don't get alarmed. I'm going to be making podnuts.com a podcast network, similar to twit.tv. If you go to twit.tv, Leo's got like 10 podcasts he does, but you go to twit.tv to get them all. 